Chapter 7 Food and Nutrition Food and Nutrients All living things need food to live, grow and stay healthy. Food gives us energy to speak, think, work, study, run, play and do other activities. Food contains particular substances called nutrients. These nutrients are needed by our body for growth and strength. Nutrients give us energy for our daily activities, protect us from diseases and make us grow stronger and healthier. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals are the five major nutrients the body needs. Besides these, the body needs roughage to keep the digestive system healthy. It also needs plenty of water. Carbohydrates Carbohydrates give us energy to do work. We call them energy-giving food. Fruits, vegetables and cereals such as wheat and rice contain this nutrient. Growing children and people who do a lot of physical activities such as sports persons, farmers, soldiers and laborers need to include a good share of carbohydrates in their diet. Fats Fats also give us energy. Food items such as oil, nuts, ghee and butter contain this nutrient. Fats are necessary to keep our body warm. The body stores the extra fat for later use. Proteins Proteins are nutrients that help the body to grow and repair the damaged parts. These are called body-building food. Food items such as eggs, cheese, soya bean, meat and pulses contain proteins. Children who are at the growing age need more proteins than adults. Vitamins and minerals Vitamins and minerals protect our body from diseases and keep us healthy. Green vegetables, fruits, milk, meat and fish contain vitamins and minerals. These are known as protective food. Vitamin A is needed for good vision, healthy skin and growth. Some sources of vitamin A are carrot, green vegetables and dairy products. Vitamin C is essential for healthy skin. It also helps the body to absorb the mineral iron. Vegetables and citrus fruits are good sources of vitamin C. Our body needs minerals such as calcium, iron, sodium, potassium and iodine. Calcium is needed for the formation of teeth and bones. Milk, cheese, eggs and curd are some calcium rich food. Iron helps in the formation of blood. Green leafy vegetables, apples and guavas are some good sources of iron. Roughage Some cereals, fruits and vegetables contain roughage or fibers. These help the body to get rid of undigested food. So they are very important for the body. Salad, corn, sprouted seeds such as gram and unsieved flour contain good amount of roughage. Water Our body needs water to function properly. We need to drink plenty of water every day. Most of the food we eat, especially fruits and vegetables, contain water. Balanced Diet All the nutrients that our body needs do not come from one kind of food. We should eat different kinds of food so that our body gets each and every essential nutrient. The diet that provides us with all the nutrients in the right amount is called a balanced diet. To protect ourselves from diseases and to live a healthy life, we should have a balanced diet. Cooked and uncooked food Some food are eaten raw or uncooked and some are eaten after being cooked. Usually, all fruits are eaten raw. Before eating a fruit, we must wash it properly to remove dust, germs and chemicals. Potatoes, rice and eggs are some food that are cooked before eating. Cooking kills the germs that might be present in the raw food. Cooked food is easily digested by our body and is tasty too. 
before eating uncooked food or before cooking food we must make sure of the following points fruits and vegetables should not be washed after cutting them as that might wash away the nutrients water in which pulses are soaked contains vitamins instead of throwing the water away we can use it for cooking food overcooking destroys the nutrients in food preservation of food food gets spoiled if left open for a long period of time spoiled food if consumed would cause diseases preservation is the process of storing food for a long time without it getting spoiled some ways of preserving food are drying pickling refrigerating deep freezing and canning or bottling nuts and grapes are dried for preservation this process is called drying pickles made of mango lemon and other vegetables are mixed with oil and salt for preservation this process is called pickling vegetables can be preserved for days by refrigerating fish and meat can be preserved for a few days by deep freezing sauces and jams are stored in airtight cans and bottles for preservation this is called canning